Look at my babies. The babies. Bye, happy boss. Adidas. <laughs> no, boycott, I think. All right, let's give it to the cameraman. You can tell already. I'm pretty flipping tired, dude. Um, but luckily, I had a very cracked pre-workout to help me out. So, I'm all good. But, um, today is chest and shoulders. Probably just going to be chest, honestly, because it's already very late. It's 12, 18 right now. And, um, yeah, today's topic is, uh, is a solar eclipse. So, you, I, you guys probably saw the solar eclipse today. But it wouldn't be today for you because this video is probably going to be like offset two days or one day of the story eclipse. Dude, honestly, it was so cool. But the thing is like there wasn't a full eclipse for where I am in Illinois. There's a full eclipse for like the southern part. Honestly, I probably should have freaking just skipped my uh, classes for today and gone to actually go see it. Uh, like, you just got into the class I needed attendance for, and then freaking went to go see it, because, dude, honestly, how, how, how many times are we gonna get a solar eclipse in our lifetime, you know? Uh, dude, I'm kind of pissed that I didn't do that, because a lot of people were seeing, like, like, the freaking, you know, the full eclipse, you know, where you see the sun as a circle. That's so freaking epic. You know, it reminds me of that one scene in Berserk. If you guys ever watched, uh, Berserk or Red Berserk. Holy flip. Griffith is an app. Alright. If any of you like Griffith, you you are not a Boshi follower. Let's just say that. Griffith is a full op. You know. Yeah. Thank God. But yeah, dude. Solar eclipse and freaking real life versus dude like something in Berserk. Honestly. Like, you know how they say, uh, how do you even explain this? You know when uh, something in a show looks much cooler than what it is in real life? I mean, obviously in Berserk, it was like really animated, but honestly, I wouldn't say that real life Solar Eclipse was that cr far off from being crazy amazing. Because, dude, like the sky got dark instantly. There was this clip I saw on Instagram. Right, there was a solar eclipse as the solar eclipse happened as a person was in the plane, right? And like it goes from one moment it's freaking light and day, just pitch black. Just the solar eclipse. It's like it's like someone put out domain expansion, freaking what's it they think or whatever they say. Ruchikai, Tenkai, or whatever. I have to I butchered that very hard, I know it. But we're gonna put all the pre in here. Okay. Uh, you know, honestly I should put the water first. Oh man, my movements aren't as hectic, ha ha hectic right now uh, because uh, I'm just very tired <laughs> right now. Um, let me just put this water in the goddamn uh, cup. cup. Or can... All right, we gotta get the we gotta get the set amount of water. That's good, yeah. And I'm gonna do that much from now on. Alright. Okay. okay. Now, besides news, my uh, freaking. You know, my boy was telling me my car smelled a bit musty. So it's uh, it's time for a little bit of a refreshner change. Oh shit, I didn't even put the pre in. I'm a little stupid head. Um, let me just put all this in. Potion, guys, look at that. See this? Crazy. Okay. Uh, I feel like Minecraft Steve. <laughs> no, when he makes like potions. It wasn't the best joke, okay? Don't look too much into it. Uh, uh, Alright. Now, you see this right here? I got a little Evangelion um, uh, freaking air refresher. We're gonna change it up with uh, Shanks, uh, Dead or Alive, four billion. I mean, it's four four billion forty eight nine hundred million. I think. Yeah, look at that. It's, it's pretty flipping epic. All right, let's uh open it up. 
do a little exchange of air freshener. Ooh, wow. Smell it. Mmm, right? Ooh. Oh, that's really good. Wow. <laughs> ah, there you go. Get this in. Come on. Come on. Give the viewers what they want. Ah. There you go. I'm wanted. I mean, Shanks is wanted, not me. But I think that uh, that's pretty much it. Let's do the goddamn chug and uh, get going to the gym. All right. Freaking tornado method. All right. Ooh, that pretty good. <coughs> Hopefully it kicks in soon. Because let me tell you, I'm very tired. I fell asleep almost five times while driving from school to home on the highway. Yeah. Alright, let's get going. Wake your ass up because it's time to go beast mode. <laughs> Um, is it recording? I hope the audio is recording. Let's check. Let's check if I, I'm tweaking. I'm not. All right. So we're doing some incline Smith machine. I'm pretty. I'm feel. I am pretty though, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty strong today. Uh, we just did 245 for eight. Pretty, pretty well, right? Um, so we're gonna do it for the second set. And then we're gonna do the partials, uh, like the first set. So basically we do the, for the work regular set, we do the working set and then partials. But for the last set, which is now, right, we do the working set, partials, and then a nice drop set. We really focus on the eccentric. Um, the cameraman is just gonna help me with one hand. Uh, that should be enough, but yeah. Let's flip and, let's flip and do this. You, know, you guys know, the cameraman freaking is OP. As soon as you're behind that, like a good chat. Oh. Oh. Three more. Flipping epic. Let's move on. The flipping uh, next work I did. All right, my guys, my dudes, my my females. Uh, it's uh freaking time for some mid chest. We're doing the peg deck. I already did my, I already did my first set. We're doing 220 instead of 215 this time. I did for 12. I was supposed to do it for 10. It means we got stronger. Let's flip and go. Um, 10 pounds. No, five pounds. Right. So that's pretty good. But yeah, we're doing it for 12. Uh, and then we're going to do partials. And then we're going to do the drop set. So working set, like I always do. Or the regular first set is always just the working set and then partials. Last set is working set, partials, and then drop set. Let's flip and go. Hup! Oh, wait. I forgot. It's like cameraman's weight. Uh. Weak. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Drops at time. Ah, freaky. So on it, you son That was enough to get me into the TikTok wrist party. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get to the freaking some. Where's this cable flies? Uh, yeah, you know how I do it around these parts. Uh, when we start to set, we do a, we go a little like Spider Man. You know what I mean? But uh, for this set, um, I mean workout, we're doing some lower chest cable flies. Oh, if you didn't realize, our order is a bit different. I'm just kind of going with what my friend is doing at the moment, like uh, because he used to be fast today because he's doing everything push day. So you know, I value my friend's company over probably the effectiveness of a workout. Right? Call me a W, guys. <laughs> I'm joking, glazing. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but um, we're doing some lower chest cable flies. Uh, I did. I'm doing 120 on each arm for. 12. That's how much we did for the first set. And then we got partials. So working set, partials. Last set, which is now. Second to last set. It's going to be working set, partials, and then a flipping drop set, man. Let's flip and go. Yeah, flip yeah. Oh, no. Drops at time. Oh, I am hyped. Empty gym. Freaking amazing. Yeah, this is 70 instead. Let's go. It's a little eccentric. Try at least getting six. some incline press machine for heavy or we do it light because holy moly I do not think right now <laughs> I can do three plates on that especially because my arms are freaking fatigued uh, so we'll probably like two plates in a 20 35 or maybe two plates in a 25 something like that we will see I have to gauge my strength right now because I am I'm freaking exhausted, dude. All right. But yeah, you'll see me there. You see this pathetic weight? That's how weak I am right now after doing both sets before this workout. It just gives you a nice contrast of how fatigue can really affect your strength during a damn workout, especially on compound lifts. Usually I'd be doing three, rep, three plates with this. I can barely do a damn two plates. Holy moly. All right, but we did the first set, right, working set, and then we did partials. Second set is going to be the working set, of course, then partials, but then the drop set. Like literally every other flipping workout we did, all right? Let's go. I feel pathetic doing this in front of you. I'm not going to lie, but it's fine. You know, this is, this is what real life is, you know? This is what happens at the gym. I mean, it's not like I'm not going to get stronger. 
Let's fucking go. Got the Crystal Castles playing. You know, we're saying, meow, 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 meow. And it's like, do, 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 I, I'm telling you, I'm not weak. This is what it feels like right now. All right, drops it already, I guess. Why am I so weak? Oh. Alright, I think that kind of just shows <laughs> how done I am with this workout. The pump is crazy though, let me tell you that. Everything else went very well. If we just did this compound lift before everything else, we would have been pretty freaking, pretty freaking, I was going to say skibbity, but I've been, I'm giving you guys too much brain rot. We would have been pretty good, but we didn't do that. We did uh, the flies first. Remember, do your compounds first. I think it's one of the best advices I can give you. Just because I think you'll have more strength during them. <sighs> but hey, it's, it's okay. I just valued my, valued my homie's time more than an effectiveness of a workout for one day. It's okay. It doesn't matter too much. It's like the flipping pump, though. It's pretty awesome. Woo! All right. That, uh, that set of incline uh, machine press... But it's pretty freaking pathetic, I'm not gonna lie. But that's what happens when you do your compounds after your uh, accessory workouts, right? But it's fine. It was just one day, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, let's take off the damn pump cover. Either way, I think my pump is pretty freaking awesome today. We'll check with the hat first and then without the hat. Ugh. Okay. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh baby, a triple. Look at that. <laughs> That's looking good. As long as we look like we got some freaking implants, if you know what I mean, some silicone, if we look like that, then I think we did a good job. That's what matters, right? Because if it doesn't look like this chest pump is surgical, then we have not achieved what we need to achieve, you know what I mean? Right, freaking one of these. Mm. Oh yeah, looking good. And then one of these. Uh. Okay. Holy, holy shiza, dude, look at that. Uh. I don't even know what shiza means. But, dude, it's freaking pumped, dude. Oh god, look at that. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. Whew. Do I feel like I feel like I look leaner? I don't know for sure though. This is one of these. Mm. This would go crazy with the shoulder pump too though. But we did hit shoulders on leg day, so I mean, it should be pretty fine. Uh, no, we hit shoulders on arm day, so we still we don't need to hit it today. We can also hit it on back day. But yeah, let's check without the hat now. Like I always flip and say, I think the hat is a real pump cover here. Cause for some reason, my head being proportional to my body makes the pump look crazy. <laughs> All right. Oh, this hair. All right, look at that. <sighs> mm. See what I mean, dude? It's, it's freaking crazy how much of a difference it makes. Mm. Other side. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. Let's get one of, uh, one of these. Honestly, I'm not going to do that because, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, let's be honest. One of these. Mm. Some double Ds in the chat. All right. And one of these. 
Mm. Okay. Dude, that looks, that looks good. I'm proud of where the chest is getting at, especially the upper chest. If you go back three months and see where my chest was at, like before the bulk, oh, complete difference in it. Cause I was looking back, yeah, obviously it's more cut there. But the size gain on, on these freaking sweet googly mooglies are freaking crazy. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep going on the bulk once I hit 200, which will be very soon. So you know, we'll make an Instagram post about that for sure. Uh, once I hit 200, probably just gonna keep going. Cause I mean, I think I should keep go going to the point where my abs are barely visible. So I think 230 should be the, should be the like cap goal or milestone, I guess. Cause I wanna, I wanna be like 200 lean. You know what I mean? Cause if I just get to 200 and then I lean down, then I'll be like freaking, I don't know, maybe 185 lean. And I wanna, I wanna be 200 lean, dude. You know how freaking sick that'd be? Like, yeah, I'm 200 pounds. It's like, but you're like, that lean and you're 200? What the flip, dude? Like, that'd be so cool to say. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna look like a monster by the end of this bulk, for sure. Uh, hopefully we can start arriving 315 on inclined bench. That'd be pretty crazy. But yeah, let's flip and go. Let's hop to the freaking boasted mobile.